Hey everyone, as you know, I'm not in class at the moment, um, but I'm gonna to explain to you what you're actually doing, and hopefully um, you'll be able to get it all down in the double period. We're playing actually the game of Monopoly, as you've all probably played before. Um, however, we're gonna do it with a bit of a different twist. We're actually gonna be playing it um, and looking at the probability of certain things occurring. Now, very first thing you're gonna to need to do is you'll have a copy of this worksheet. Okay, you're we're gonna read through it together. Your task is to explore the probability of certain events arising during a game of Monopoly. Now, as you know, there's a certain element of strategy involved in Monopoly. Um, however, you can't underestimate the importance of luck. But are some events more probable to occur than others? Okay, so the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to start playing Monopoly with two dices, and you're going to go around for uh, a total of five, five turns. Once everyone gets around their five turns, um, what you're gonna get given is you're all gonna get given a house and a hotel. Now you put them wherever you like on the board, but it needs to be on a property that you actually own. Okay, it doesn't matter if you don't own all three properties. For the sake of what we're doing, you can just put your house and the hotel on whatever properties you like. You then need to work out, um, if you see the bottom of the, the, the worksheet, you need to work out the probability of rolling certain numbers. Now what I'll do is I'll explain what I mean. If you see the dice here, um, the probability of us rolling a zero is impossible because the, the lowest we can actually roll is a, a one and a one. So for the first, um, first one, the probability is zero and that means that the probability is zero out of 36. For the next number, the probability of rolling a 2 is getting a 1 and a 1. That's the only way we can actually do it. So once you've gone through and you've worked out the probability of all of those um, different numbers, then we can actually move on. If you flip over the page, you'll see that activity 4, or question 4, has a series of events that you need to actually um, work out the probability from. So once you've gone around five times, you then need to um, start making your way through the 10 different turns and trying to work out where the probability of those things occurring is. You'll see the very first turn, so immediately after you cross your fifth go, is you need to work out what the probability of landing on a house is um, using two dice. Now what you would need to do is you'd need to look and see exactly where you were, okay? and then work out what the probability is. Now, I'll give you an example of that. Imagine we're over here, and this is us, and you can see we've got a hotel, we've got a house, and another hotel, another house over here. You need to work out what the probability of you landing on a house, and I'll put another house there just to make it a little bit more obvious, and what the probability of you landing on the house is in this turn. So we roll our dice, and we know that the maximum we can actually get is 12. Okay, but it's pretty unlikely that we're going to, to roll a 12. But let's count up and see how many houses we can potentially land on. One, two, three. Okay, we have three potential chances of landing on a house out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 different squares. So the probability is 3 out of 12. Okay, that's what you need to be doing. So continuing on, um, you go to the second event and that's the probability of landing on a hotel, um, landing on a utility. Utilities are the things like um, the waterworks and the electricity place. You also have probably landing on jail, on a community chest, on a chance card, um, landing on a train station, landing on unoccupied properties, so properties that are able to be purchased, and landing on occupied properties, um, properties that are that are, you know have already been bought. And the very last one, what's the probability of landing on go? Okay, now looking at your um, your probabilities, you'll be able to determine whether things are more likely or not to occur. Once you've actually rolled for that turn, normal monopoly rules apply. You can buy it, you can do whatever you like, you, need, you can pay rent if it's someone else's. But what you need to do is you need to record whether or not you were able to, um, with a yes or a no, you were able to land on 
or complete the actual thing as we were hoping for. So if you did land on a house, you would say yes. Okay, if you didn't, you would say no. We're gonna to look to see whether or not um, there's a pattern between the probability of things and whether or not they actually occur. Now, that's for two dice. The second page in activity five, um, you'll actually be playing Monopoly with one dice. Okay, you'll see the probability is reduced and hopefully you'll see a little bit more um, being able to actually, not predict, but uh, more probable that things will actually occur uh, or certain events will occur. So that's what we need to do. That's the plan. Um, you'll see that maybe some events are more probable of occurring in a game of Monopoly. But then again, remember, it is always luck. So thank you for listening and I'll see you all on Friday.